Welcome to Kids Planet. We're so excited to be kicking off a new series today called What is Faith? We'll be taking a look at what faith really means over the next couple weeks by reading about the life of someone who is known for their great faith. Before we kick things off today, I just wanted to let you all in on a little secret. Next weekend, we'll be celebrating moms for Mother's Day, and we've got a special craft for each of you to take home as a gift. So make sure you join us next weekend for Mother's Day. Now, let's go find Hannah and Vince. I heard they've got a cool new spot to show us. Um, does your person have a blue hat? No. Does your person have a beard? No. Um, does your person have purple hair? No, they don't have purple hair. Is your person uh, wearing a hat? No. Oh, hey Kids Planet, check out our brand new KP Clubhouse. Isn't it so cool? We are so happy to finally have a cool place to hang out in. And there's so many awesome surprises here too. Like this. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best example of how cool this place is. Hey Aiden, do you want to show Kids Planet our awesome new slide? Sure thing, Hannah. Hey guys. All right Aiden, what would you rate the new KP Clubhouse slot? Oh, it was definitely a nine out of 10. Wait, 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 stop it. Seriously, okay? It's ridiculous. Cow Joel? What's up? What's the matter, Cow Joel? What's the matter? This slide, seriously, is a 6.7 out of 10 at best. Not a 10 out of 10? Girl, I've slid down more slides than a slithering snake on a sunny Sabbath in September. Oh, sounds superb. Satisfying. Anyways, hey Colton, do you want to reveal where you're hiding? Nice hiding spot, man. Thanks. We got the best snacks in here too. Hey Hannah, do we have any more of our friends hiding in the clubhouse? Maybe. Hey, Chicken Carol, you can come out now. What? How did I miss that? We definitely have to play hide and seek in here sometime. Sure, since you're so great at that. Ha ha. You know, there's actually one more secret entrance to the clubhouse that nobody's found yet. Where? Yeah, you have really? to show us. Ah, no, you guys are gonna have to find it. What? what? Why? Wait, what if this purple rope has something to do with it? What, like a trap door or something? Exactly. Hmm. Not bad. Nice try, Aiden. But that has nothing to do with the hidden door. Oh, man. Classic Aiden. But wait, 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 wait. What if the last person to pop five balloons has to pay for everyone's ice cream? Oh, I am so down. Wait, 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 okay? Listen, I got a lot of good friends in the ice cream business, and this whole oat milk trend that we're on, it's gonna put us all out of business. Oh, come on, Cal Joel, it's just a little fun. Fine, let's do it. All right, ready, set, go! Oh man, I don't know how you guys pop so many balloons. My hoofs just kept slipping like a small slithering snake on a sunny Sabbath in September. Sorry. All right, all right, all right. All I know is I'm ready for some ice cream and you're buying. <sighs> yeah, 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 come on you hooligans. I got a tractor parked right out front. Come on you rice shoddy. You guys go ahead, me and Vince will stay and clean up. Wait, but, ugh, fine. Can you guys be sure to give me a banana split on your way back? Banana split? Well, I split more bananas than a super small Slytherin snake on a sunny September. Have it, we know. Uh, yeah, quiet down. You don't need to get all sassy on me. Hey, sister, what do you want? Do you want some moose tracks? How about a cup of mint chocolate chip? Superb. 
See you guys later. One minute, 37 seconds later. That was quick. They're back already? Vince, Hannah, are you in here? Oh, hey, Joey. Hey. What's up, man? Do you love the new KP Clubhouse? You're like the first one to see it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wait, how did you find us? Well, I sort of need some advice. So I've been looking for you guys for a while now. I just passed Cal Joe, so he showed me where you were. Oh, that makes sense. Well, what kind of advice do you need? We love to help. Um, I'm not really sure what to think right now. My parents told me something last night and I'm feeling pretty upset about it. What was the bad news? Well, my dad got a new job, so next month we're gonna move to Virginia. What? Virginia's so far away. Yeah. Are you feeling nervous? What are you most upset about? All of it, really. Moving to a new school, leaving all my friends behind. What if I don't make it a football team next year? It totally makes sense why you'd be worried about that stuff, Joey. Yeah, I guess I don't really know what's happening to me. I've tried to pray like we've talked about the kids' planet lately, but I don't know why God is letting this happen. Well, sometimes we really don't know why things happen. But moments like this, when we feel confused or even hurt, are such important times for us to have faith. Grown-ups always talk about having faith, but what does it mean? Like, what is faith anyways? Great question. What is faith? Joey, don't worry. Just trust in the Lord. Anyways, if we look up the word faith in the dictionary, we see that faith is defined as complete trust or confidence in someone or something. And more importantly, what I think the answer to the question you were asking, Joey, is faith is trusting God even when you don't understand something. Okay, I guess that helps me understand a little better. What if we gave you an example? Like what? Well, there are plenty of people we can read about in the Bible who are known for having great faith. Really? Yeah, you heard stories about Abraham from the Bible, right? Yeah, Father Abraham had, had many, many sons, sons, many sons, sons had, had Father, Father Abraham. Abraham. <laughs> well, did you know that Father Abraham and his wife Sarah actually weren't even parents for a super long time? Really? Yep, and Abraham and Sarah even wondered if they'd ever have children at all. But God promised them they would. And we know the story of Abraham and Sarah today because they believed that promise from God. So you're saying that Abraham is one of the people in the Bible who's known for great faith? Exactly. In fact, Abraham was actually born with the name Abram, but his faith earned him a new name from God. Do you want to hear a part of Abram's story that reminds me a lot of yours? Sure. Okay, so in Genesis 12, we can read about Abram going through a similar thing that you asked for advice about today. Listen to this. The Lord had said to Abram, leave your native country, your relatives and your father's family and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation I will bless you and make you famous, and you will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who treat you with contempt. All the families on earth will be blessed through you. So what did he do? He trusted in God's plan. Here, you read this part. So Abram departed as the Lord instructed. Abram took his wife, his nephew, all their servants, and their belongings, and traveled to this new place where they knew no one, all because he trusted that God had a plan. And listen to what God tells him then. Then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, I will give this land to your descendants. So having faith means trusting in God? Exactly! Having faith means trusting God's plan. Like how Abram trusted God's plan. He obeyed God even when it didn't make sense. Abram didn't ask questions. He trusted that God would look out for him and his family. 
And God has a plan for all of us too. We can trust that no matter what happens, no matter how crazy our lives may get, no matter what might change, God knows everything. He has the big picture and we can trust Him even when it doesn't make sense. That makes me feel a little bitter, I guess, but moving still seems really hard. I'm not saying this move is gonna be easy because it's never easy to deal with change. But it's nice to know that God will never change and you can trust that. What's something you know is true about God? Um, well, I know that God loves me and my parents. He sure does and that will never change. You know, I actually moved away from where I grew up. You did? Yeah, I didn't grow up here. And sure, it wasn't the easiest at first, but God was with me the entire time. And now I get to spend every day with some of my favorite people. You see, Joey, God moves us sometimes in our lives. Whether it's on to a new sport, or to a different school, or even to Virginia. But like Vince was saying, God is with you now and He will continue to be with you. Even when we move, God stays the same. The same God who showed Abraham the way is also watching over you. Try to look at your time in Virginia as an adventure or even a vacation. Look for ways to have fun in this new experience. I will. Thanks guys, this really helped me feel a lot better. So, do you feel like you have a better idea of what faith is now? Yeah, having faith means trusting God's plan. Exactly. And don't forget, you can always talk to God when you're feeling scared or worried, just like we learned last week. Good point. I should definitely pray more about our move. Thanks guys. You guys really helped me feel a lot better today. Anytime, Joey. Yeah, seriously. You can join us in the KP Clubhouse anytime. Thanks. Well, I better get going. Don't want to be late for dinner. Oh, that's Cow Jewel! They just got back with the ice cream. Let's go! 